Chers trois téléspectateurs, c'est ce soir que nous assisterons au décollage du premier convoi humain lancé depuis la Lune en direction de Mars. Que tu le veuilles ou non, la science est la nouvelle religion. C'est toi qui crée les limites de ta réalité. Je m'appelle Arthur Spack. Ton père est un des plus grands génies du millénaire. Moi, ce qui m'intéresse, c'est la sonorité d'une femme. Je suis concepteur d'instruments de musique pour Jacob Aubu. C'est un homme intriguant. C'est un homme dont la carrière repose sur l'art d'intriguer. Eh bien, la nuit dernière, j'ai vécu une expérience étrange. Je suis Martin Villeneuve. J'ai uh, écrit, directé et produit le uh, film. Uh, this is my first uh, feature film. I studied in uh, cinema at Concordia. And after Concordia, I went uh, to do a bachelor in, um, in graphic design at UCAM. And then I worked as an, an art director for uh, the Sidley Agency in Montreal and worked for Cirque du Soleil for quite a few years. And after that, uh, you know, I did my, my photo novels, the graphic novels that inspired the, the film. And uh, those two volumes were optioned by Robert Lepage, who's one of the key actors, main actors in the film, and who's also one of the producers. It's the first uh, time in Quebec that you have such uh, an ambitious film in terms of visual effects and in terms of uh, production and post-production. So it was indeed challenging on many levels. Uh, creatively speaking, there was a lot of uh, talented people involved in the process, so uh, creativity was not a real challenge. It was more the, the financing aspect that took a long time, it took almost seven years to do the, the film. Um, so, uh, you know, thinking of the script and after that thinking of the way to make it happen and to make it happen in, in, in a way that, uh, that would be possible to manage financially. So uh, all these, these aspects uh, would, would be very hard to, to combine, especially because I had such great ambitions visually, but not the budget to go along with that. So that, that was a constant fighting between uh, having the best idea and the best results on screen, but at the same time make it for reasonable amount of money. I love all kind of, of cinema, and I'm not saying that all films should be science fiction or fantasy or horror, obviously, but uh, you need those, and uh, because it, it takes you out of day-to-day uh, -day life, and it, it makes you dream, and, and the movie deals a lot about dream. Marcia Avril is, is set in a futuristic Montreal, which we really haven't seen before. It's set some 50, uh, 50 years in the future, and it allowed us to, to dream and, and uh, dream of uh, utopia, of what's to become. And that's very unusual because normally in Quebec, we have a tendency to look at the, at the past instead of the future. And I don't know why, but we should, for, for me, according to me, we should look more into the future. And if other films, if Marseille Avril helps other films to, to get made, uh, that would be my, my ultimate dream. That, that would be the, the best uh, reward ever. Uh, I'm a bit in the same situation as uh, students in Concordia in the, in the way that I, I'm still uh, at the very early stage uh, in my career. So I have no uh, message to convey except that uh, you need to, uh, to trust your, uh, your, your instinct. And if you really believe in a, an idea, you must believe in it all the way through because ye years after years, there's way more no's than there are yes. And uh, you, you must stick to those who say yes and you must just continue and focus and focus and focus to ultimately uh, have the film finished because the hardest thing is to finish a first feature film. I, I would hope to make another film and uh, to do so it's, it's always to, to go back to square one and, and, and you know have people trust your, uh, your idea and step into your, uh, what, what it is you're trying to say. And it's all about, uh, I believe, in, in, uh, in the message within the film you're trying to, uh, to make. I wish you all the luck in the world because I think if you succeed, it will hopefully open it up for many other filmmakers who have similar ambitions and want to expand our vision of what Quebec can be. Well, thanks very much for your time and uh, please, uh, all the, the students from Concordia are welcome to uh, come see my film in FNC and it's going to be in theater on October 12th.